From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, the light-hearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Tarleton and Peter Tischer. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ropecast. I'm Peter Tischer and next to me, sitting at the table, is Roger Charlton. Hi, Roger. Hello, Peter. Do you know what day it is? Well, we're already into the year 2010. Yeah, but that's not what I meant. It's been a year and a day since Obama took office. Oh, yes. Yes. And the anniversary yesterday was not too happy for him, I think. You mean the election? Yeah. I think you got to explain to our listeners what happened here. That was, what was it, Massachusetts. Yeah. Because Ted Kennedy died, and therefore they needed a new senator to replace Kennedy. And this was supposed to be a safe Democrat seat, and a Republican got in. Am I right? Right, right. that's yeah. c- completely yeah. correct. I think a Mr. Brown. Yeah. Now, yeah. What I heard interviews just before the results were announced, interviews with electors on the streets in Massachusetts, mm-hmm. and it sounded to me like some of them who would have voted Democrat, always voted Democrat, voted Republican because of the health bill, and somehow this was going to prevent it becoming law. Yes, and in a way, they may be right. It's kind of curious, though. Yeah. You know what it what this changes in numbers in the Senate? There was, what was it, 60-40, I think, wasn't it? With 60-40 for the Democrats. So Obama basically had a 60-40 majority. Yeah. And now that would change to 59 to 41. Yeah. Still largely in favor of the Democrats. Yeah. But, well, they have a problem now. Which is? Well, the problem is that the Republicans can resort to a new tactic, which is called filibuster. That's a strange word. Yes, it certainly is, and I actually do not know where it comes from. I do know, however, what it means. Yeah. The thing is, any senator in the United States Senate basically has the right to speak on any topic he wants for as long as he wants. That's a recipe for disaster. (laughs) Yeah. And that way, he can stall the vote on the bill. He can just go on talking, 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 and nobody is ever going to vote on the bill. So it actually prevents the vote being taken? Yes, unless the Senate votes on what is called cloture. Oh, that comes strange, from French, cloture. That a means, strange word, isn't it? That I know where it comes from. Yeah. means closing up things. Uh, cloture. How, how do you cloture. spell that word? Uh, C-L-O-T-U-R-E. Oh, right. And so the Senate can vote on cloture. Yeah. That means everybody's got to stop talking. We are going to vote now. Yeah. In order to take that vote, you need a minimum majority of 60 seats. Ah. And the Democrats now have 59. Right. Or will have 59 as soon as the new senator is seated, as it's called. Right. How long does that take? I mean, he's already elected. He's elected, but he will be seated. That means he can take office in a few weeks. I see. So he's not in there right away, and they're debating now what to do and everything. But now you know why they are all so overexcited about losing this one seat. It's not that they've lost the majority, but the Republicans can stall the public health bill, well, basically forever. There is even a famous movie that illustrates this. Ah. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Ah, yes. I think I saw that it's a long a, time ago. It's an old movie, yeah. black and white, directed by Frank Capra, very yeah. famous director, with James Stewart, who plays a young senator who comes to Washington, doesn't know right from left, basically, <laughs> but at one time finds out that there is this law that he can talk forever, yes. and he uses that to a positive effect, something very worthy, I don't know, remember what, good movie, and it illustrates this tactic of filibuster, keeping sort of the law process on halt by talking endlessly. Well, I think in the House of Commons in London, there is also a way of talking out a bill. But ah, um, I can't give you the details of that offhand. Maybe we can do that in a later podcast. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Goodbye, dear listeners. Goodbye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.